discussion on peripheral signs of aortic regurgitation peripheral signs of ar are mostly due to the high stroke volume and high pulse pressure they are noted in severe ar these are features of aortic runoff and can occur in other situations of aortic runoff like ruptured sinus of valsalva into right atrium arterial pulsations in the retina normally there are only venous pulsations visible on the ocular fundus in aortic regurgitation retinal arterial pulsations are visible this is known as becker's sign muller sign systolic pulsations of the uvula in aortic regurgitation dancing carotids prominent carotid pulsations due to the wide pulse pressure in aortic regurgitation de musset sign head nodding sign in aortic regurgitation bisphereans pulse is more suggestive of free aortic regurgitation than a combination of aortic stenosis and regurgitation bisphereans pulse has two peaks in each systole locomotor brachii is a prominent pulsation of brachial artery seen in aortic regurgitation it can also be seen in elderly individuals without aortic regurgitation collapsing pulse or water hammer pulse is noted in the radial artery with upper limb lifted up passively and felt by the palm of the hand water hammer was a toy in the victorian era in which fall of water in a vacuum tube produced a characteristic feel quinge sign prominent nail bed capillary pulsations durosis murmurosus sign a stethoscope kept over the femoral artery picks up a systolic murmur with proximal compression and diastolic murmur with distal compression the diastolic murmur is more specific pistol shot sounds can be heard over the femoral arteries and sometimes over the brachial arteries drop sign jehart sign splenic pulsations in severe aortic regurgitation rosenbach sign hepatic pulsations in severe aortic regurgitation main sign exaggerated decrease in diastolic blood pressure more than 15 mm of mercury on raising the upper limb but the validity has been questioned as this can be noted in younger age without aortic regurgitation lingen sign prominent popliteal artery pulsations sherman sign prominent dorsalis pedis artery pulsations hill sign is based on the difference between the upper limb and lower limb arterial pressures recorded by the sphygmomanometer systolic pressure recorded from the lower limb is more than that of the upper limb difference in systolic pressure about 20 mm of mercury is taken as significant when hill sign is taken for grading the severity of aortic regurgitation the following classification is usually applied mild ar 20 to 40 mm of mercury moderate ar 40 to 60 mm of mercury severe ar more than 60 mm of mercury it may be noted that direct intra arterial recordings of axillary and femoral arterial pressures did not demonstrate any exaggerated difference in systolic pressures between them authors of the study suggested that hill sign is an artifact of sphygmomanometric lower limb pressure measurement and has no physiological basis cardio angle vascular index originally used to measure arteriosclerosis has been used to assess ar objectively cavi measurement includes pulse pressure difference between upper limb and lower limb pressures angle brachial index ejection time and upstroke time calculation of cavi uses a complex formula shiraisi and associates concluded that cavi parameters could be useful in screening and serial follow up of patients with aortic regurgitation this study also documented that hill sign correlated with severity of ar angle brachial index increased in aortic regurgitation hill sign or difference between upper limb and lower limb pressures correlated semi quantitatively with severity of ar here are the first set of references here are the second set of references thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video